All right, so I've got kind of a super simple abstract lighting effect to show you today. And it's pretty easy, uh, pretty easy to do, so I'm going to show you how to do this. First, you want to open a new document, and the document I have open, this canvas size, is 1,000 pixels in height and width, and the resolution is 72 dpi. And I'm just doing this for the screen, so I'm not doing it at high res right now. Uh, your canvas size can be any size, though. Just make sure it's big enough to work with. And you're basically going to go ahead and fill the entire canvas with the color black. So either use your paint bucket tool or I simply uh, use the control delete method to fill the, the background color. And that's what you're going to start with. So now you want to use your pen tool. So select your pen tool and make sure that it's set to path. And we're going to kind of draw on a curved path on the upper to cover the kind of the upper left hand side of the canvas and create this first kind of lighting effect. So first off though, let's create a new layer. And now with your pen tool, let's go ahead and create just a nice steady curve and I'm clicking off the canvas. So on both sides you can see that I've clicked off the canvas and I'm just creating a curve to work with. Now I'm going to go ahead and click around on the outside of the canvas until I've connected my path. And on a PC you can go ahead and right click the pin and select make selection. You want the feather radius set to zero. Anti-alias is of course checked and it should be new selection. So press OK. So now we kind of have this curve selection happening on the upper left hand side of the canvas. So next thing we want to do is grab our brush tool and we just want a pretty big uh, round soft brush. So I'm going to select a default Adobe preset here and I'm going to select just a round brush where the hardness is set to zero and for size for my canvas I want kind of a bigger size so I'm going to select around 400 pixels in diameter. Okay. Now let's go ahead and, and find the color we want to use to create this lining effect. I've already chosen purple so I'm going to go ahead and select a kind of purple color and it should be fairly saturated click OK. Now you're simply just going to kind of paint outside of the selection. So we just want this this edge <clears throat> of our selection. So if you just kind of start by by clicking on the outside and just kind of come into the selection just a tad, you're going to kind of get this this horizon effect. It, it almost looks like the uh, the glow of a planet or something. So if I simply hit control D to deselect you can see this effect starting that we got going on here. It's just kind of a nice shadow. And if I hide the background, you can see there's really barely anything there. But it's just a nice curve. So now what you want to do is go back to your pen tool and just start making selections over this. And the, the more of these lines kind of, they should generally go in the same direction. But the real effect comes when you start crossing the... The, this lighting effect shape uh, in a few places. It's really what gives it the action and kind of makes it real real dynamic. So again, right click and make selection after you've created your path. And grab your paintbrush again and just simply keep painting these new selections. Kind of like so. And you can do this as much as you want. Uh, you can just keep on going. So I'm going to create some more. And we're going to get kind of this nice band effect. So make selection again. And let's paint on some more color. And you just kind of keep layering it on top of each other. Let's see. Let's kind of get one to kind of cross this way and I click outside the canvas so I, I make sure I have um, the entire left hand side uh, selected because I don't want to have any of these lights just drastically cut off and create a harsh edge so I'm making sure that I have a lot of the canvas the entire canvas selected outside of the, the lines I want to do here. So I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> you can kind of see this building up. Make selection again. 
and this is really all there is to it. So once you get kind of an area done, this looks pretty cool. Another trick is to simply duplicate this area. So press Control J to create a new layer. Now let's go ahead and turn the opacity down to maybe 50%. And this layer we're kind of we're going to move it just a tad. And you can rotate it a little bit just to kind of break it up. Kind of like so. So you get this this pretty cool uh, just lighting effect going on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select both these layers. So I'm going to hold shift and select both layers and hit control E just like so. So now they're one single layer. Now the other effect you can do is hit control J to duplicate that layer again. And then we're going to go up to filter and it should be under, I always forget where it's at. We want find edges is basically what we want. So under stylize, go to find edges, click OK. Now we're going to go to image, adjustments, invert. Again, go to image, adjustments, desaturate. And now this layer, see we have kind of the outlines of those hard edges. Go ahead and set this to overlay. And after you set it to overlay, turn the opacity down to about 30-35%. And it'll kind of uh, highlight those sharp edges, which gives it another little bit of depth. So that's basically all there is to it. You can do a lot of different things with this. You can use multiple colors. I just stuck to purple. Uh, but if you also stick to dark purples and, and light purples or any color you choose, so if you do blues or yellows or what it might be, uh, you can get a nice range and uh, get this really cool effect out of it. So I hope this was helpful in some way. Like I said, it's pretty easy to do. It's just using the pen tool to make curved selections uh, and then painting with a soft brush outside of the selection, but just enough to kind of hint color in into your selected area. Uh, and this works well for backgrounds, works well for, uh, for pretty much whatever you need, kind of an abstract, uh, just overall uh, background for it. So hope you dig it, hope you like it, and I will talk to you later.